In our new series, The Golfing World Traveller, we'll be helping you to open yourself to a new world as we take you on a journey to some of the must-visit areas around the globe that combine golf and travel in uniquely appealing ways. And where better to start than the Monterey Peninsula in California? This area is well known for the 17-mile coastal road that runs in a loop along the seafront, offering views of the Pacific Ocean and some of America's best golf courses. I'll be heading to the PGA Tour Pebble Beach Pro-Am to find out what the professionals and the celebrities teeing it up think make this part of the world so special for golf, before heading down the coast to a course just off Sunset Drive designed to match Scotland's original concept of how golf should be played. When you think 17 mile drive, you've got some of the best golf courses in the world stuck out on a tiny little peninsula. Um, it's pretty cool. And not only can you go and park out right there on the coast and sit there and watch the whales and watch the waves roll in, but yeah, you can obviously get around the golf at Pebble Beach. Anyone can go and play this golf course, um, and it's pretty good. You know, when you think about the history of the game, um, some of the heroic shots that we've seen here, um, some of the celebrities that have been around here and hit some heroic shots, but also the beauty, obviously what's behind me right now, if you can see that. Um, it's pretty special, um, and especially a day like today, 75 degrees and sunny. Um, makes the beauty stand out even more. I mean, when we get days like this, you know, it just can't, this can't be beat for us. This is, um, you know, prime for anybody watching or playing. We're just lucky enough to be the ones that get to, to be on course. Great place for a golf course. Probably wouldn't get to build a golf course now where it is, but seeing so it's here 100 years, it's uh, obviously probably one of the most spectacular courses in the world and, and certainly for the, you know, US golfers, it's the home of golf here. Pebble Beach is the standout course on this unique coastline. It has hosted five US Opens down the years, helping bring regular tournament golf to the area. And every year, the PGA Tour's best players are joined by celebrity golfers to take on the links of Pebble Beach, Spyglass Hill and Monterey Peninsula Golf Club for the Pebble Beach Pro-Am. So the AT&T uh, Pebble Beach Pro-Am uh, comes every year in, in February. You kind of mix a lot of very successful people together into, into one kind of golf tournament. You know, and, uh, and they all, I think, probably would admit they, they're all kind of impressed with, she, with each other's achievements. And, uh, and I think they all learn something from each other. So it's very unique. Well, you know, the, the crazy thing is having never played it before um, and getting out there, I used, to, I used to always say, well, I don't understand. It's a golf course. How amazing could it be, right? Um, when we got to the seventh hole, I went, I get it. I get it. it it's, it's the most spectacular view. Monterey is right out there on the seafront as well, quite spectacular, and, and Spyglass has a number of holes on the seafront. Those two are great golf courses, but unfortunately they're beside Pebble Beach, so they tend to get overlooked. Uh, but for us, we played three great golf courses this week, uh, spectacular venues, and you know, if you're hitting some good shots, you can take the views in. If you're not hitting your good shots, yeah, it's harder to do it. <laughs> But uh, it is a good spot, and, and they set it up nicely for the tournament as well. It's not going to be too difficult the first three days, so you can, you can take it in and enjoy it. Any visit here should include the top courses, but there are plenty of very good public courses to enjoy too. The links at Spanish Bay are just five miles along the coast and offer a layout designed to match the traditional Scottish links where the game originated. This special piece of land became the latest impressive addition to Monterey's golfing smorgasbord almost 30 years ago, as some of the game's deepest thinkers put their minds together. Three great people in the, in the game of golf, Robert Trent Jones Jr., just a magnificent designer, Tom Watson, five-time British Open champion, unbelievable player, uh, Sandy Tatum, uh, Tom's mentor at Stanford University, Sandy Tatum also as well, a past president of the USGA, uh, very traditional and knowledgeable in the whole history of the game of golf. The three of them getting together, that must have been so much fun trying to design uh, a golf course out here. Uh, in and amongst uh, the ocean and the dunes and the, the Monterey Pines and Cypress Trees. Incredible uh, amount of energy had to be given by all and, and compromise, I'm sure, by uh, the player, the designer, and, and the historian. And, and I think they did a marvelous job uh, creating a link style here on the, on the west coast of North America. 
and the Scottish routes on which this layout was based can be found on and off the golf course. Opening day in November of 1987, uh, Mr. Jones, Mr. Watson, and Sandy Tatum played an opening round. And uh, at, at the conclusion of the round, uh, Mr. Watson said, this reminds me so much of Link style golf, I can almost hear the bagpipers play. And it was a profound statement because he felt that he had designed something that reminded him of the Scottish Lynx, the, the, the Lynx he played in all those British Opens and hence the tradition from that day forward, uh, the Pebble Beach Company uh, has a bagpiper out here to, to close down the golf course. Wind, rain or shine, it's a classic tradition that uh, we've come to love. It's easy to see why Monterey is so popular, so if you're traveling the California coast or in nearby San Francisco, make sure to bring your clubs. I think the history of uh, the rounds of golf that we've all seen played around this golf course. When you look at obviously US Opens, um, you know, through the years that have been here, um, you know, they've been pretty epic. So, um, you know, there's, it's just amazing this little, this tiny little peninsula with some, you know, truly fantastic courses. Cypress Point's just a mile down the road, um, which is another great golf course. Certainly some of the best designers, some of the best golf courses in the world exist here. Um, and the climate a lot, you know, for a lot of the year is, is very moderate. And I think that makes it very enjoyable for people to travel from all over the world. You know, if you're in a climate that's very warm and hot, you know, it can kind of really be refreshing. If you're somewhere that's cold this time of year, they have snow on the ground, so when you come to, to a place that's 65 to 70 degrees, uh, that's, that's refreshing as well. The peninsula is a wonderful place to come and explore the game of golf uh, with all the tradition that's been here uh, from the beginning back in 1919 when Pebble Beach first opened. And I recommend everybody find a way to get here at least once in their lives.